Hey guys, I'm checking out Solo Brass Untamed by Westwood Instruments. So these are the same guys that released the Lost Piano, which I covered in my channel. And this one is, of course, all about brass. So we have five instruments. We have the euphorium, we have flugelhorn, we have the three T's, uh, trombone, trumpet, and tuba. So I'm going to show you uh, what's inside, how it sounds, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions or anything, just leave comments below this video or join the Discord server. And I'm going to put the links in the description of this video, of course. Let's get started. <laughs> Right, so again, we have the five different instruments. And in contact, you load this, you need the full contact, not the player. And you'll see that we have the five different instruments, the five NKIs. So I've already loaded the Euphorium. And let's go through the user interface and the idea behind this instrument you can already see on the bottom that we have all these articulations. So we have improv A, B, C, and D, and they are sets. So we have sets of sort of improvisations on the notes, but for each one of those, we have a different articulation, say energy. So when you just hover on top of that one, just click that, you see the tooltip on the bottom and it says that um, that's the first set and from velocity 0 to 50 we get uh, sort of a calm articulations or uh, variations then we have the lively that goes from 51 to 90 and from 91 to 127 that will be wild so you need to experiment here with the velocity. So if you have any uh, performance already programmed in MIDI, just try and get different velocities. Right, so that's how it sounds. And sometimes you need to just wait for it because these are long notes. So they are involving and they are moving. And so again, four different sets, improv A, B, C, and D. And then we have the improv round robin so this one is uh, sort of cycling through those different four improvisations and every time you get a different sound every note you play will be unique so this is really great stuff and so before we move on to more articulations and see what's exactly is storm and the longs and all that we have some more controls so first of all that was all recorded with four different mics. So we have the uh, different mics over here on the right, and you need to just click the button to just have all of them or some of them engaged. And so we have the spot, that's the left one, and that's a, a mono, mic just attached or very very close to the instrument then we have the close which is a, a little bit far further from that and then we have the room and uh, i believe those are akgs and we have um, like a gallery something far away but still in the room up there to capture all the nuances and the ambience of the room. So you need to play with that and just mix them together to get the sound that you're looking for. Right, and I'm going to load the second instrument for this demonstration. So we'll get a variety, so I'm just gonna load that and you can see that we have 
different set of uh, articulations. So here we only have the four uh, different uh, improvisations. We have the round robin and the storm. Right, and you can see below the microphones here that we have the mono or poly and because these are brass it sometimes of course it makes sense that this will be a mono instrument right and we can also uh, turn on the key switches on the right so if you want uh, as you play you want to change the articulations that's already uh, set for you here on the keyboard and now we also have the uh, envelope on the top so we have attack that just for the longs but if you're playing shorts then you also have uh, the tightness and the release we have an eq and we have space which is a reverb and if you'll click this uh, title here you'll get the different options so now let's just check out the trombone and see what's inside and you can see that the trombone has a lot more uh, articulations and we'll just experiment with some of them and I really like the storms this one will take all the improv layers and just build them uh, one on top of the other as you use the mod wheel Very interesting and you can also see that the mod wheel is related to the dynamics and we have those controls of the performance on uh, the top here so we have dynamics we have expression and we have vibrato which we can add so let's go with the longs Right, and we can add more microphones. And let's try the mute. Right, and flutter. very interesting stuff and soft air and mute very delicate surge And again, you have to wait for some of it because it keeps moving and evolving and we have mute for the surge. And we have tonguing. bands and 
and let's see drones. And we have multiphonic. And shorts. So again, the shorts you can set the uh, attack tightness and release on the top here. And we can also change maybe the reverb here and get more width. Cool. And Let's try this one. And finally, we have the short mute. All right, so that was the trombone. It's very similar in terms of the user interface, of course, but sounds completely different with the trumpet. So let's try that. And again, you can mix the microphones as you wish, so we can add this uh, spot mic and we can get the close mic as well and let's have a listen to the first articulation here And I remind again, the improvisation, the improv A, B, C, and D, they uh, will respond to different velocities. So, of course, if you're programming the MIDI, experiment with that. Let's try the storm. And the surge. Right, as I keep on playing, we get more and more surges, and the same goes with the mute. And let's try the tuba now. And again, when you're loading any of those instruments, you, you get a reset of all the different settings. So you can uh, just play with that, add 
the microphones as you please and experiment with that add some vibrato and you can turn on the key switches on the right and you can just click those get the different articulations as you go of course you can just click Let's change that to church hall. And try the long. We can try the pops. That's an octave down. Right, very interesting. And we have the shorts. Right, and that is pretty much the solo brass untamed by Westwood. And again, thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or anything, let me know in the comments or join the Discord server, the Plugins Academy, where we can talk about this library and maybe other libraries by uh, Westwood Instruments. And of course, if you have anything that you want to share you want to ask questions you need help with something that's the place that's the community that we are building in the discord server the plugins academy and i'll see you guys in the next videos thanks bye bye